Okay, everyone. Well, thank you so much for coming. My name is Angela, and I am so happy to help you, to have you with me this evening. Let me just say again, my name is Angela Atkins of Your Health Unbound, and I'm so glad you've chosen to spend this time with me to learn the secrets of nutrition. It's a new way of integrating health into your life without struggle. This is about how to change your relationship with food forever. So what you're about to discover is how you can start losing weight in as little as, a one, as one week and to get re-energized to reach your goals, to banish those constant cravings that hold you back, and to take charge of your relationship with food and you be in control of it rather than food controlling you. And you're also gonna find that you'll feel a sense of self-esteem that you haven't had in years, and it will build your confidence to feel sexy at any age. So is this webinar for you? Well, do you see yourself as one who promises to stick to a diet, but never does? Do you, when dealing with emotional situations, do you turn to food like I did? I used to come home from work feeling stressed and rushed and overworked, and I just grabbed the first thing I could find, like a box of cookies, and then I'd proceed to eat the entire box just to make me feel better. Do you think about food almost all the time? What you should eat and what you shouldn't eat? Are you unable to stop eating once you've started? Like me, I would eat the entire box of cookies when I was stressed. Do you eat in secret or hide food? I know I used to hide chocolate covered Oreos from my kids so they couldn't have them, but I'd have my own special stash. And that meant I could eat them anytime, anywhere, and with any, without anyone else knowing. Well, these were important to me because they were my comfort food. Well, if you answered yes or more to two, yes to two or more of these questions, then this webinar is designed just for you. What you're about to learn is the secret of nutrition because the way you've been programmed to think about nutrition and diet is actually stopping you from having success. That's right. What you've learned over many years about nutrition and dieting is the thing that's keeping you from losing weight. But this webinar is not for you if you're the type of person who prefers to continue eating fast food and packaged meals. But nutrition is fast and easy, plus it's good for you. This isn't for you if you're the type of person who wants to cook all of your meals in a microwave. But nutrition aligns with the demands of your time. You can make nutritious meals in 15 minutes or less. And this isn't for you if you want to just stay unhealthy and keep all that extra weight that you've gained from eating this way. But if you're ready to feel and look better, then nutrition is for you. And clearly that is you because you're here tonight. So how is nutrition different? Well, it's different than every other diet on the market because there's no dieting. There's no calorie restrictions, no point counting. This is a life-changing shift in how you think and how you live. It isn't about a short-term gimmick or the diet of the week, but rather it's a long-term way to build a healthy life. And yes, you can even enjoy chocolate-covered strawberries made the nutrition way. You could be like Melissa and gain sustainable long-term results. Let's see what Melissa says. She said, I have tried a variety of ways of losing weight and eating more healthfully in the past, but nothing I tried was sustainable long-term. Implementing Angela's advice on foods to avoid, foods to embrace, emotional responses to foods, etc., has been the ticket for me, and as a result, come, come to a healthy weight not a diet. I highly recommend Angela. So if you're like Melissa and you've tried many ways of losing weight and thought you were eating healthy, but nothing was working, you're going to love what you're going to learn about nutrition and the program to set you free like it did Melissa. Well, let me tell you how I got here and my personal story. I married very young and I had my first child when I was 19. We lived on a very limited income and that made me very resourceful. My oldest daughter had severe food allergies when she first started eating solid foods. Then I realized I couldn't trust her health to manufactured baby foods, so I began making my own. 
it helped her get through her childhood allergies. But eventually I became a single parent of three children and had to work full time. I felt constantly under stress and I chose convenience over health. I would rush home to get the groceries to feed the kids. I'd pick up something like a tray of Stoker's lasagna. I clearly knew what to do because I did it for my daughter. But then with the stress of the divorce, having to work full time, raising children on my own, I just forgot about it. The demands on my time took over for such a prolonged period of time that it made me physically ill. I would struggle to get out of bed in the morning, work all day long, drag myself home only to fall asleep on the couch. I'd manage to get dinner, but then I'd go right back to bed afterwards so I could repeat the cycle over again. It wasn't much of an existence. I was getting through my day, but I just wasn't living. Through all of this, I didn't pay attention to my body. Even when I had a ruptured appendix, I just dismissed it as an ovarian cyst and figured it would just go, but go away. But when it didn't get any better, my doctor sent me for x-rays and then directly to the ER because my appendix had burst and now it was life-threatening. And I didn't pay attention to those signs my body was giving me. I had to have emergency surgery and it took me a long time to recover because I let my health get so bad that I had complications. Well, shortly after that, I had an acute attack of glaucoma. Who knew that the way I was eating could affect my eyesight? You hear that carrots are good for your eyesight, but not much more. As you're listening, I believe I know things about you. You're busy, you get a pain in your stomach, you say, I'll pay attention to that later. But I don't want you to end up in the hospital. I don't want you to have to have surgery. That's why I say kudos to you for being on this webinar to give yourself the education to avoid those surgeries like I had them. Well, maybe you've already had some of them too, but this is a, about course correction for your final healthy life. My final straw came when I knew I had to turn things around when I was diagnosed with celiac disease. For those of you who don't know what celiac disease is, it's an autoimmune condition that's triggered by eating foods that contain gluten. It's a serious sensitivity to gluten that can destroy the lining of your small intestine. Well, we hear a lot, of think, a lot these days about gluten. Well, you know it's in certain breads and grains and pastas, but let me tell you, it's in a lot of things. To top everything off during this time, I gained over 50 pounds and became the heaviest I had ever been almost 200 pounds. Now that would be okay if I were six foot tall, but at five foot three, I was way too heavy. And after I gained all this weight, I tried so many diets and fads, but none were ever wholly successful. So I tried counting points, low glycemic foods, hot wraps, anything that anybody told me that might help. I managed to starve off 25 pounds by calorie reduction and deprivation but I never felt satisfied and I was always hungry. I knew this wasn't the right way. So after I was diagnosed with celiac disease, the proverbial light bulb went off in my head. It was the food that I was eating that was keeping me sick. But conventional medicine didn't work for me. What I was getting from doctors were pills for every symptom and not getting to the root cause. Since no doctor could figure out what was causing all of my symptoms, I would get a prescription and then be sent to a specialist who would look at me through their lens of their specialty and write me another prescription. You've probably had the same experience. You go to a doctor with a symptom and the first thing they want you to do is prescribe a medicine. Well, because I was miserable about the way I looked and felt, the doctor gave me antidepressants. I was having acid reflux, so they gave me proton pump inhibitors. And this kept going on and on. How many of you have had the same thing happen? I can tell you're just out there nodding your heads. You've been there. But I know there had to be a better way. So here's what I did. I healed myself by reading everything I could find about food and healthy nutrition. And that wasn't easy because there are so much contradictory, contradictory information on what healthy eating is. I knew that stress was only one factor, food was the key component in my health decline, but diets didn't work for me. 
So I spent countless hours listening to lectures, reading books on nutrition. I had to change my relationship with food. So I made the commitment to healthy nutrition and I no longer use food as entertainment, a substitute for companionship or some kind of reward. But it only happened after I finally admitted that I was addicted to certain foods. For me, it was sugar. And that's why I couldn't stop eating that whole box of cookies. So for all those years that I thought I didn't have any willpower, which made me feel guilty, it was actually a physical reaction in my body making me eat those cookies. Well, after changing my relationship with food and eating this way for just about six months, I felt better than I had in many years. Remember, I lost 55 pounds in 25 weeks without dieting or exercise. And I recently celebrated my 60th birthday with my family and I still feel the best years are ahead of me. So are you ready to adopt a nutrition lifestyle? Now remember how I healed myself. I knew stress was only one factor. Food was the key component in my health decline, but diets didn't work for me. So after going through all those lectures and all those books, I made a commitment to healthy nutrition and I was able to overcome my food addiction and I'm ready to show you how to. So how do we get here? As mothers, I think our lives slowly spiral out of control. We're busy trying to juggle work, the kids, a relationship, keeping the house clean, a social calendar. Well, that's the kids' social calendar usually, but that still leaves little time for us. We need to make time for ourselves. As primary caregivers, we need to give to ourselves first, and then we'll have an abundance to give to others. Now, I know I'm not telling you anything you haven't heard of or thought of before. The problem has always been, yeah, I know, but how can I do it? And that's what I'm about to show you, is how to do it. Being healthy is easier than you've been led to believe, and I'm here to bust the myth. You've been sold a faulty bill of goods because certain foods are actually addictive. It's not you, it's the food itself. Take a look at the left side of this chart. Here's what I mean by being addictive. It's, I'm not talking about the heroin addict on the side of the road or the alcoholic that doesn't go to work. Addicted is, I couldn't put down that box of cookies or addicted is I want pizza every day or addicted is give me more chocolate. Addicted is having a big bowl of ice cream instead of a tiny scoop and wanting to go back for more. Have you ever heard of anyone being addicted to cucumbers? It's not you. It's the food itself. It has properties that cause you to crave it in this fashion. And unfortunately, it's also harmful to your body. It's a vicious cycle. And I'm here to help you break that. Kathy knew she had a problem but couldn't figure it out. She didn't realize that she had an addiction to carbs. Let me tell you what Kathy says. After years of struggling to lose weight, with Angela's help, I came to realize I had a serious carb addiction. Now I don't look at food the same way. Thank you, Angela. So let me tell you what, I've, what you'll learn with my five nutrition secrets. Secret number one, are the five hormones that may be keeping you from losing weight. Secret number two is how the healthy foods you th you're eating may really be creating a food addiction. Secret number three is three simple strategies to set yourself up for success. And secret number four is to eat foods that nourish your body and they taste great. And secret number five is my secret weapon to banish sugar cravings with one simple ingredient and it's delicious. So secret number one is know the hormones that keep you tired, hungry, and overweight. We, a few health issues which can be caused or worsened by hormones being out of balance, and you may already experience them now, are anxiety, hair loss, headaches, weight gain, fatigue, skin issues like acne or psoriasis, and that's just to name a few. But before you can balance them, you need to understand what these hormones are. First hormone, hormone number one, is ghrelin, the hunger hormone. It's the signal when you know you need to eat. 
But when it's out of balance, it doesn't turn off and you feel hungry all the time. So my tip number one, in order to squelch the ghrelin gremlin, eat high volume, nutrient dense food to reduce your ghrelin levels. That's as simple as eating a salad before every meal. Another tip is to eat lean protein. There are lots of ways you can do this. Obviously, I can't share everything with you today, but I'm gonna let you know how we can keep working together. Hormone number two is leptin, the fat controller. One of the many hormones produced by your fat cells is leptin, which plays a key role in appetite control. When leptin levels aren't working, the brain doesn't get the signal to stop eating. If you become leptin resistant, then you never feel satisfied. And that's when that ghrelin gremlin comes causing your cravings. So tip number two is to help balance your leptin hormone, start your day with about 30 grams of lean protein for breakfast. Have an omelet with leftover veggies and some Canadian bacon, or have a protein shake with almond or coconut milk. And if you're not getting enough veggies, put some in your protein shake. And yep, you heard me right. You can have bacon. Remember, this is not about being deprived or restricted. It's about making the right choices. Hormone number three is the thyroid gland, which can be thought of as gland central. The thyroid is one of the most important and often mismanaged glands we have working in our body. For women, hormones can shift out of balance during childbearing years, menopause, and at various times in life, and even under chronic stress, putting them at a higher rate of thyroid conditions than men. The thyroid gland needs specific vitamins and minerals to do its job properly. So tip number three is for the thyroid. One of the minerals needed by the thyroid is iodine. So many people have taken all of the salt out of their diets and they get virtually no iodine at all. But I'm not talking about the type of iodine in your regular table salt. This sea is where it's at when it comes to iodine. Seafood and seaweeds and all the sea vegetables are excellent sources. And saltwater fish you can add to your diet and use iodized sea salt, not just regular table salt. There are many other vitamins and minerals that are necessary for proper thyroid function, but it's more than we can go into right now. The fourth hormone is cortisol. That's the stress hormone. Now, stress is a natural part of life, but when it's out of control, our lives feel out of control. Cortisol production is increased by the more stress you have. And let's face it, in this day and age, you have stressors everywhere, driving, traffic, emotional ups and downs of family life, and so much more. And worst of all, cortisol tends to accumulate in fat cells around your belly. So those six-pack abs you're dreaming of are never going to come when, you, when you've got this stressful life, unless you learn how to deal with it in a different way. Well, here's some strategies for dealing with stress. Here's my tip for you. I want you to smell your way to peace and calm by using essential oils. You can diffuse essential oils at night in your bedroom to help get more restful sleep. You can diffuse them around the house for different reasons. There are calming blends that will help you relax. Citrus oils can help curb your cravings. You could use a grounding blend to feel more balanced, and you can even use them in your car so you're not overwhelmed by traffic. You can have a lifting blend when you've just had that bad day and need to feel a little elevated. And when you need extra healing, you could use a protective blend that you can use both topically and internally. There are lots of places you can pick up these oils, but when people work with me, I help provide them access to doTERRA oils. Hormone number five is melatonin, the sleep hormone. Another great way to counteract cortisol levels is with an increase in melatonin, which we get from restorative sleep. And it can also help you keep your weight down. The benefits of regular sleep cycles is that it improves your body's ability to regulate the circadian rhythms, which help with wakefulness during the day and restful times during the night. So if you're someone who doesn't sleep well at night, get up, gets up several times, has restless sleep, you're just not getting enough sleep, is actually making you fat. So tip number five is to sleep in the dark. Light disrupts melatonin. Turn off all your lights, including night lights. 
Don't use electronics for at least 30 minutes before going to bed. This will improve your quality of sleep. Then, in the morning, get 20 to 30 minutes of sunshine without sunscreen without, within the first hour of waking. This keeps that cycle of dark and light patterns consistent for daily healthier sleep and for stress and weight reduction. Secret number two, the healthy foods that you're eating may actually be causing food addiction. Again, I go back that we've been sold a faulty bill of goods. Let's take a look at these charts that the government puts out of what we should be eating. Six to 11 servings of bread, pasta, and cereal? That would kill me. Well, actually, it was killing me. Tanya, like many of you, thought she was eating a healthy diet, but since she learned of nutrition, she knows the truth. This is what Tanya says. I thought I was providing healthy meals for my family but didn't really know the makings of a real foods diet. When I started working with Angela, I realized I was just eating the foods that were advertised as healthy without really knowing the facts. Angela provided me with clear, actionable information that helps me shop more knowledgeably. As a result, I feel more confident preparing well-cooked meals for my family. So we've been encouraged to eat healthy foods like whole wheat bread but just one serving of that bread is 15 grams of carbs, and that's equal to three teaspoons of sugar. At any given time, our bodies only need about one teaspoon of sugar in the blood. That's it, one teaspoon, that's all. But on average, adults consume about 22 teaspoons of sugar a day. Children consume a whopping 34 teaspoons a day. And it's recommended that women keep their sugar intake to just five teaspoons a day. Is it really any surprise that there's a diabetes epidemic or an obesity epidemic, epidemic or a rise in coronary heart disease or any other chronic health issue? You've been told to eat a certain way, which is actually causing your health problems. Almost every other commercial on TV is about diabetes or associated neuropathies. The government and pharmaceutical companies need to do that because the food that we're eating that they claim to be healthy is actually not. Nutrition is about busting the myths and sharing with you the ways to enjoy delicious food that won't slowly kill you. Let's take a look at this. Studies have proven that sugar is eight times more addictive than cocaine. So one 12 ounce can of soda is equal to 10 teaspoons of sugar. Now, if you just recall, what I said was that women should keep their sugar intake to five teaspoons of sugar a day. So this one soda is twice the recommended amount of added sugars. Well, sugar activates the brain in the same way as cocaine and it can trigger a food addiction. So how do we label it an addiction? Well, it can make you feel out of control unable to limit the amount you consume. You'll continue eating it despite adverse consequences like bloating or weight gain, like me with the cookies. You have withdrawal symptoms when you try to stop and you're more likely to relapse. And then you develop a tolerance where you need more to feel the same effect. These sugary foods send reward signals to your brain and override your self-control mechanisms and lead to addiction. Sugar literally hijacks the brain receptors that are meant to regulate your appetite. Now it's not hunger, but your cravings that are calling the shots. Face it, our taste buds have been hijacked by the food industry. They figured out what makes food taste so good and it keeps us coming back for more. So this is why when you go to bed on Sunday saying that tomorrow is gonna to be the start of my new diet, then you get up Monday morning, you roll around, and since you're addicted to the bread, the donuts, the specialty drinks, that you, you just can't keep your promise to yourself. And you can't be expected to do it on your own. And that's why I'm here to tell you the truth. This is my philosophy. Just stay away from crap foods. What are crap foods? Well, there's carbonated beverages, and including fruit juices, refined sugar, artificial colors and flavors, and processed products. So secret number three is to use simple strategies to set yourself up for success. Strategy number one is before going to the grocery store, you need to make a list and you need to stick to it. 
shop the perimeter of the store. Those middle aisles is where they get you with the processed and prepared foods. Create your plan of action and stick to it. Strategy number two is to prepare your own food. If you prepare it as a family, everyone contributes, and it is an important component to keeping a family unified. Every week, my husband and I plan and shop together once a week, for the entire, and then we cook our meals for the entire week. We have fun while we share our cooking chores. We have time to talk, we make each other laugh, we share playful kisses. Quite frankly, with our busy schedules, this is really time that we get to share something together and create memories. This way works for us because it allows us more time to spend together during the weekdays and we have meals and we can enjoy, enjoy each other's company rather than cooking every single day. Strategy number three is commit. To be truly successful, you must commit to this change in both lifestyle and mindset to transform your current way of living and thinking about food. It will improve your quality of your health as well as the quality of your life. I've so, shown you several ways that it can be easier than you once thought it was. Now I'm going to continue to share some additional secrets and tools that help make this commitment easy for you. Not only easy, but enjoyable. So secret number four is to eat foods that nourish your body. Let me break down the food code for you. There are macronutrients, they're foods that provide calories, which are just energy units. Macro meaning large, you need a lot more of them. Nutrients are the substance we need for growth to fuel our metabolism and other bodily functions. And there are three macronutrients, proteins, fats, and carbohydrates. Macro micronutrients are smaller and needed in smaller amounts, but they are equally as important. And of course, water is essential to our health. Although not everyone can eat the same foods, here are some examples of proteins. There's lean animal products, wild-caught seafood, pastured eggs, nuts and seed, and tempeh is a fermented soy, which is a good option for those who don't eat animal products. You should eat about 25% of your total daily food intake in lean protein, and of course, it's best if it's organic. Healthy carbohydrates include vegetables and fruits, and if you're not allergic to them, beans and legumes. You should eat about 50% of your total food intake in a rainbow of vegetables. Then you can add in about 5% of fruit, and that translates to about one serving a day. Again, it's best if it's organic. Did you know that the research has found that those who ate five or more portions of vegetables and fruit a day were the happiest and the healthiest? Healthy fats we need to dispel the notion that fat is bad for you. Healthy fat does not make you fat. Sugar makes you fat. Healthy fats are found in olive oils, nuts and seeds, avocados, and they help suppress hunger. I'm gonna go a little deeper about healthy fats a little bit later. Now micronutrients include vitamins, minerals, and trace elements. And there are several types of vitamins, A, B, C, D, E, and K. And then trace elements include things like iodine and iron and chromium, and there are many others. But when you eat foods filled with these essential nutrients, with recipes I can provide to you, your diet is filled with the required micronutrients and macronutrients, and you're not going to feel hungry, you're not going to be craving, and you won't be addicted to health, unhealthy foods. The problem is in our busy, fast-paced society combined with the faulty bill of goods we've been dealt. We're dealing fa with fast foods that have been processed. And guess what? When they process it, it actually processes out these micronutrients. Then they artificially put them back in. And when they put them back in, you're not getting the same organic benefit as these foods were originally created to give us. Water is the main component of our cells, tissues, and organs, and it's absolutely vital for life. Water transports nutrients to our cells and removes toxins from our body. It does so many things we need, such as just regulating our body temperature through sweat. We get about 50% of the water we need from our food, such as cucumbers, lettuce, watermelon, strawberries, grapefruits, cantaloupe, but we have to add in that other 50%, and it's best to drink about half of your body weight in ounces per day of filtered water. Secret number five, what is the number one ingredient that will help you overcome your cravings? 
Now it's been vilified for years, and frankly it still is, and it's been removed from many of our foods, healthy fats. You just need to add healthy fats to your diets. Eat an avocado. If you can have dairy, add butter, or ghee if you can't. Cook in coconut oil. All these foods will help satisfy your hunger. Here's my bonus tip, just add healthy fat to your diet. If your food tastes good, you won't crave unhealthy food. There's no need to eat low fat or no fat foods anymore. When fat is removed from a food, something else is added for flavor. Many times it's some sort of refined sugar or artificial sweetener. Again, you're being tricked. You're being told not to eat fat, but being told to eat things that don't taste good without it. So instead, if you had a little healthy fat, it would taste good and be healthy for you. And lastly, my bonus secret weapon for you is don't go it alone. You and I both know that every Monday morning we wake up committed to make a difference, to eat differently, to be healthier, to go to the gym more. And by Monday afternoon, because of the addiction we have to certain foods, our promise to ourselves is broken. I'm here to be that support for you because I don't want you to suffer the way I did. So let's review. So secret number one was the five hormones that may be keeping you from losing weight. And secret number two is to learn about the healthy foods that you're eating that really might be causing a food addiction. Secret number three was the simple three strategies that I had to set yourself up for success. Secret number four were to eat the foods that nourish the body and they taste great. Secret number five was my secret weapon to banish sugar cravings with one simple ingredient and it's delicious. So imagine how you'll feel when you're able to keep your promises to yourself, get healthier and lose weight. Remember, it's not a diet, it's a shift to nutrition. Imagine how great you'll feel when you learn to cope with emotional situations that don't cause weight gain or guilt. Imagine how great you'll feel when you learn to eat exactly what your body needs and wants. Nutrition will have you feeling full and satisfied and eliminate those sugar cravings. I know I gave you huge value during this webinar. I also know that there have been books you've read, seminars you've attended, commercials, things you've tried in the past, and I would not be doing you justice if I didn't let you know how we could work together and how I can support you in carrying through on your promise and desire to live a fit and healthy life. So I want to share with you now is a Jumpstart Nutrition Program. It's not a diet. It's the end of yo-yo weight loss and gain, and it's easy, fast, and will provide sustainable results. In this unique six-week program, you'll get a customized program based on your unique, your unique preferences and needs. One of the reasons in the past your diets haven't worked for you is because nobody was customizing it just for you, and it's going to be necessary for it to work for you. And you'll get a structure of a proven, easy-to-follow system that fits in your already busy life. You'll get my support and love to guide you step by step to achieve and sustain lasting results that you'll, and you won't be alone anymore. So say goodbye to dieting and hello to nutrition. It's real food and it's real delicious. It's not about deprivation. I'm going to show you just how easy it is and how easy it's going to be to have the foods that nourish your body and satisfy your taste buds. So let's be partners in your success. You have six weekly group calls, step-by-step -step modules, and a question and answer sessions to address your ongoing needs. You'll get the nutrition playbook with delicious recipes, time-saving meal plans, and a daily journal with inspiration. You'll have access to a private online group where we'll share your successes and your challenges, and I'll provide ongoing tips and strategies. Here's how it works. In module one, you'll learn about the simple food tricks to thrive and keep your body at optimal performance. In module two, you'll learn that all foods are not the same. You need to find the right recipe that works for your body. In module three, we'll teach how to shopping is made easy. 
Module four, get control of those hormones. Module five, you'll learn about food being fun, which is fundamentally unmodified nutrition. In module six, we'll learn to heal your body with food. So you'll have all these delicious recipes so you don't have to so sacrifice great taste to lose weight. You'll get time-saving meal plans to keep yourself and your family well-fed with ease. And you'll journal with daily inspiration that will support your lasting transformation through the power of your chosen thoughts and desires. And that private online group will be moderated by yours truly. We'll be there to share your successes and your challenges. I'll provide ongoing tips and strategies and we'll tap into the power of group momentum for accelerated results. No, you're not alone. We've got each other's backs. So we'll have that six weeks, six weekly group calls and the modules, and the Q&A sessions, and that's a $900 value. Then the nutrition playbook will include the recipes, your meal plans, and your journal. That's a $50 value. Then the private online group where we can share our successes and challenges with tips and, and strategies, that's a $300 value. So your total value is $1,250. So let me ask you a question. If all this did for you was what it did for Melissa, that she finally found a program that worked for her after trying countless others, wouldn't it be worth it? If all this did for you was have you recognize it was the food itself causing you to be overweight and had a carb addiction like it did for Kathy, wouldn't it be worth it? If all it did was to help you feel confident that you were providing healthy meals for your family, like it did for Tanya, wouldn't it be worth it? Here's the thing, you know as well as I do, if it's important to you, you'll find a way. If not, you'll find an excuse. Now you've been on this webinar for almost an hour. Clearly your health and well-being is important to you. In the past you've tried, in the past you've made excuses. I want to invite you to nutrition so you can feel and experience how easy and joyful it is to create this healthy lifestyle with nutrition. So let's go ahead and get your jumpstart started. Your nutrition jumpstart will help you kick those curbs to the kick those carbs to the curb. It will melt pounds away, you will release the struggle and anxiety over food, and you'll have more energy than you ever thought possible. So to summarize this program, you've, we're gonna have six weekly calls because I'm on your side throughout this entirely with you. And let me tell you friends, I have been there where you are now. I don't know what your particular challenge is right now, but I've been there. I've been through the struggle and I'm on the other side of it. And I want to show you how you can get to where I am. We're gonna have the six weekly group calls. You'll get the nutrition playbook and the online private group for a total value of 1250. But as a special for you, because I'm committed to making sure nutrition is what becomes the mainstream and all of you are going to be part of this process. So it's only 197. So imagine, you consider this, if you go to Starbucks every day and you purchase a coffee and a muffin, that's $7 a day for six weeks, that's $294, not to mention the muffin top you'll get from eating the muffins. This program will be paid for in less than 30 days just by eliminating that trip to Starbucks and replacing it with nutrition. In your six-week jumpstart, you'll get delicious recipes, easy-to-prepare meals, nutrition coaching, community support, and so much more for just $197. And most importantly, your transformation, which is priceless. If you're ready, go to nutrition.guru. That's N-E-W-T-R-I-T-I-O-N dot G-U-R-U. Or if you're not at a computer, you can call 909-312-6224. So I'm gonna sweeten the pot just a little bit more. I've got two extra bonuses for you. A shopping guide on how to read nutrition labels and a recipe booklet with a, over a dozen nutrition recipes. That brings your total value to 1350. And it's all yours for just 197. Now, I know you've got the opportunity to do a lot of things. 
I am committed to support you in your health goals, and I know the way for you to achieve them is by starting to take action today. Any moment you spend in indecision as you continue on the same path of your poor nutrition habits, it's time to start your nutrition. So for the first seven of you who make the commitment and are ready to take action, I'm gonna bonus in a one-on-one -on -one session with me in addition to being on your side for the full six weeks of the programs. So go ahead and go to nutrition.guru, N-E-W-T-R-I-T-I-O-N dot G-U-R-U, or you can call 909-312-6224. Now, if you get the recording, please understand that we're assisting someone else and leave your name and number and we'll call you right back. And there's no risk to you. If within the first 14 days you feel this program isn't for you, we have a full 100% money back guarantee. So I just want you to know that I believe in you. And now it's time for you to, to believe in yourself. Believe in yourself enough to make the investment in your health and well being. You know you can make this change. So let's be successful together. Join the nutrition community. I look forward to being your partner in success. Just go to nutrition.guru. Again, that's N-E-W-T-R-I-T-I-O-N dot G-U-R-U. Or call 909-312-6224. Thanks, everybody.